Hi, thank you for your inquiry with Finale Inventory. Uh, my name is Chen Wen. I'm a co-founder co here. And today in this demonstration, what I'm going to demonstrate is two early functions, uh, uh, two early operations that customers typically use with Finale to really get, give you a good sense of um, how to use Finale, but also sh show you the basic me mechanics of the, of the system. So today, what I'm going to show you is first uh, is how to import your product list into Finale, and then two is how to create a purchase order and see how uh, that purchase order impacts the your, your stock. So when you log into your Finale, uh, this is the screen that you should see, and the, the design and the UI is built around inventory flow of a company where you have um, products coming in via the supplier and purchases, and then products coming out, uh, your sales and customers. And in the middle is primarily where most of your operations of using the software will be, and that's contained in the inventory tab. So the first operation we're going to do is to import your products into Finale. And how we do that is we leverage Excel, and then we copy and paste the data from Excel into Finale. So let's open an Excel window. And here, I've already created uh, four products. And to, to create the file, you need at least minimum two columns. Uh, one is the product ID, which is a unique identifier for that product, um, a short description. Uh, I created another column called price, and Finale has a lot of pre-configured um, variables that it's already set to. Um, price, weight, color. But you also have the ability to create custom fields uh, if you like. So with these four products, uh, we cut and copy the columns, go back to Finale, and under the Quick Links menu, click on Import and Export, and click on the first link, which is Import, Batch, Create, and Update Products. In here, you click on the big box and hit Control v to paste it. And here's a summary of the data. You know, it's it basically going to import four new products, uh, BB1, BBB1 to BBB4. Um, as you see, product ID is mapped to product ID, description is mapped to description, and price is not mapped to anything. So we just have to select what the correct mapping is, which in this case is an item price, and we hit next. And you know, if you had uh, a couple dozen products or a couple hundred, this is the same operation. And here it's importing the products into Finale. After we're done, typically what I do is I uh, view the stock to make sure the products got loaded correctly. You know, we have a couple hundred products already preloaded here, um, and to narrow down, you just hit a, hit a couple of letters. And in this case, since we know that we had all the product IDs as Bs, starting with letter Bs, um, it quickly narrowed. But you, you can also type some letters in the description, at pens, and here's our, our products and pens. But let's go back and see the four products. Uh, if you look to the right, you have the open stock, and you have the quantity on hand, which is what you have in the in the warehouse, and that's zero. And you have the available to promise, which is also zero, because we haven't uh, made any stock changes, and we hadn't created any purchase orders. So the second operation that we're going to perform is to create a purchase order and 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 replenish our inventory. So let's go back to home, and you click on new purchase order. Uh, there's two ways to, to create a purchase order. One is just having a sequential numbering system or having a unique order. But I'm just going to use a, a sequential order. And first thing you do is you select your supplier. And this test is going to be called Acme. And down in, down here, you kind of start just typing in and, and seeing what you want to order. So if I type in BB, let's say I want to get some paper. And I'm going to hit five of these. And let's say that I want to buy some pens also. Um, I can also buy 10 of these. And when you're ready to commit the order, uh, you hit Mark Purchase Committed. At this date, you can also um, over here export the order or print the order, so that way you can send it a hard copy or email the hard copy a soft copy to your supplier. So after you commit the order, let's go back to home and go to view stock. And as you see here, if you look at the, the numbers, the available, because we ordered five rooms of paper, available to promises is five, 
and the available promise for pins is 10. And if you notice the quantity on hand is still zero because you know we just placed the order and we don't expect the shipment uh, to come in for a couple of days. But let's say a couple of days has passed and now the products have actually arrived. So you hit view purchases. And hit click on shipments now. As you see here, you know, essentially what this is is we order five, and sometimes the, the products are back ordered and we get a partial shipment. But in this example, let's just say we received everything that we expected. So here you click on five, here you click on 10. And one thing here is that um, uh, because our application supports multiple locations, you also have to specify what, what location that your product is going. So in this sample, because it's already been populated, I'm going to click on B5. So these products are going into um, location B5. I hit receive, receive. Now let's go back to the view stock and see how our stock change, uh, change numbers change. So if you go back to view stock, and as you see here, now you see the quantity hand has now been updated to five because we actually received them in our warehouse at B5. So we have five in reams of paper, and we have 10 in pens. So this is a, a good uh, stopping point and a good, to allow you to play around with it. You know, we encourage you to, to play around with the inventory levels and to create sales orders so that way you can see inventory being uh, reduced. But feel free to, to uh, continue using the demo and if you have any questions feel free to email us at service at finaleinventory.com and we'll be happy, more than happy to help you. Thank you.